In this video, I am going to show you how to replace your Acer A1 830 LCD screen and also digitizer. So, I am going to show you the steps in which you need to take in order to replace your screen. Yeah, as you can see, this is a brand new screen that I just replaced. I am actually going to show you the steps that you need to take to change your screen. I am just testing this screen, ensure that everything is working. As you can see, everything is working perfectly, so let's get into the video on how to replace the screen. Hi guys, so in this video, I am going to do a screen replacement for this Acer Tab. This one is Acer Tab E1 E30. So I'm going to take the back off. We have a new screen here, as you can see. So I'm going to show you how to do this in this video. What we are going to do here first, we are going to take the back off. Well, the back is very easy to take off. All you have to do is to use any of those plastic tools. And I have some over there. And what you can do, you can also use something that is sharp as well. So once you get this far with your Acer tab, you know that the back cover is off. So now the back cover is off, we are going to transfer those parts to the back plate of the screen. So you can see that we have the battery, the motherboard, and we have the speaker here as well. So we have to transfer these parts onto this frame. So this is what we're going to do. Okay guys, so what you need to do to transfer all the parts, right? You need to remove these three screws here. That is for the speaker. That is for the speaker. You need to unloose the cable for the digitizer and also the ribbon for the screen, right? All you have to do is to raise, there's a lid underneath here, like this brown one on top of here. You want to raise the lid in order to get the cable out right also there are two screws by the side you want to remove those screws as well the battery is stick down with adhesive in this position here so you want to use a plastic tool and lift the battery up right then you want to make sure that you unplug the ribbon for the buttons you don't want to damage this ribbon so you lift the lid you lift the lid there and you unplug this ribbon here and there are also another three additional screws at the top one here one here and also one here underneath this ribbon here right you want to take this metal piece off then you're free to go actually you need to just remove these carefully and the board can be removed also unplug the ribbon here for the antenna that is connected here so you want to unplug this ribbon here as well so guys we are free to move these parts over everything is disconnected and you want to make sure that you remove the front camera and also the mic and these components here very carefully so guys we successfully removed everything off of the old screen all the camera here we removed the mic as well we also have the buttons here volume up and down and also power with all the screws so we are just going to transfer this onto that frame now so guys what we're going to do here now we are going to Put back all the screws we already connected the screen here connect the digitizer the three screws the antenna cable needs to be connected here and also the back camera needs to be connected the back camera needs to be connected here the front camera here and put back on that metal piece guys and we are finished so guys I'm actually finished in terms of putting all back the screws putting in the cameras 
and also the ribbon for the antenna as well the buttons as well so everything is legit and uh, what I want to do now I want to do a test my camera battery is charging at the moment so I am using my phone to do this video my camera battery is charging at the moment so the screen is showing it is charging so all I have to do is to just put back on the back cover and we are finished so this is how you can easily replace your Acer A1 A30 LCD screen and digitizer I hope that this was helpful do like share subscribe and all of that good stuff